Hi guys, this is Jade and today I wanted to show you a few tips and tricks of how to keep your wife bag looking like new. Depending on the type of strap you have, it might stretch out over time, or the tassels, how to keep them fresh, or in case it pills, what to do, and even if it gets dirty, how to go about washing it. So here are my tips and tricks that you can apply right at home. So the first thing I wanted to show you was how to shorten a YU bag strap. Um, if you have a bag, for example, with this type of strap, which is called paleteada, this uh, will not stretch. But the one we will be focusing on is this one. Once you have the right size yarn and needle, all you need to do is undo the stitching, being careful not to cut the bag, nor the strap, and re-sew. I do recommend you watch the full tutorial, which I will be sure to include in the description below. Another thing I want to show you is how to maintain your bag looking fresh. So it might happen, this doesn't have any issues right now as it's brand new, but it might happen that if you love wearing your bag so much and uh, it rubs quite a lot against you, it might start to pill a little bit and that's okay. Even at the bottom, it might pill. Um, and there's really quite an easy fix to this, and this is by using, ta-da, my defuzzer machine. So this is one of the best things I own, honestly. Uh, it's great for the house, uh, but particularly, I love it on YU bags, all my coats, all my pillows, even my sofa. I get quite addicted to this, and it just makes everything look brand new again. So... I, as this is quite um, quite soft, I'll put my hand underneath and I'll turn it on and just rub it in a circular motion. This will clean all the fuzz right up. This will remove any pilling you might have and make it like new right away. So that's it. Um, so I don't hurt the fabric. I do small round movements, so I don't go like this, so I don't go like this. And this basically keeps uh, the bag looking like new. Something else you can do to keep your bag fresh is by taking care of the tassels. So if you wear it quite a lot, maybe the tassels get, um, I don't know, maybe a few strings might come out here, or maybe the tassel's too long and you'd actually want something shorter. Um, so the first thing I would do is get a small comb like this uh, and brush it, brush it like you would a doll's hair. And this, essentially what it does is straighten out the tassel and any loose yarns will be pulled out and you'll see exactly where you need to cut. So let's say here, you see there is maybe a couple strings that I would want to cut. Um, what I do is I'm going to fit the tassel in this hole. So I'm going to close it in and keep it real tight until however long I like. I like to leave about a centimeter, a centimeter and a half. And as you can see, when I roll, there's all these little hairs here that I could easily remove. So I like to usually sit over a trash can, but uh, I'm going to do it for you guys right here. I'll take my pair of scissors and I'm just going to cut. This is like cutting hair, right? You don't want to cut too much because then you're going to end up with a short uh, tassel that can, I mean, will not grow back its yarn. So you want to be careful of how, how much you cut. Um, it's better to start small and let's say you want a shorter tassel and then you keep going, right? But don't go one off uh as short as possible because it might actually look shorter once you are done and so i like to do that once i cut what you do is you shake and what the shaking does is it puts things in perspective in case anything else is still hanging and you give it one more go and you're good to go you have a refreshed and perfect tassel you're going to want to do the same for the other one so it's already been brushed stick it in the middle of the fingers. As you can see, there's a few yarns hanging out. And there you go. You have two perfectly refreshed tassels and this will keep your bag looking like new. Now about cleaning. So I know I previously said that I hand wash only, but I've actually quite gotten the hang of machine wash under a certain setting, and I will show you how. So let's say I want to wash this bag, which in this case I do. It's a little bit dirty right here. What I like to do is stain treat. So I'll wet it. I like to put a little bit of detergent 
and rub it in. Just normal liquid detergent, like this, and let it set. So if they are really dirty, I will let them pre-soak. And the only type of bags that I dare to put in the washing machines have a certain type of drawstring. So it's the ones that are like this, as you can see, that have a, a woven drawstrings, or the ones that are braided, that are like this, as you can see. Um, if you have a drawstring that is twisted, I'm a little bit more careful. I will tie the drawstring safely uh, with uh, maybe a hair tie. And the way I like to wash, so if they're extremely dirty, I will pre-soak. The way I like to wash is I put everything inside the bag, meaning I put the strap inside the bag, I put the tassel inside the bag, and I will fold it like this. So, so all the delicate items are actually protected, right? I will do the same thing with this one, everything inside. And this is actually how I pre-soak them as well, in this position, because when they get wet, they get kind of stiff and they feel heavy uh, it's harder to do this later so i do this uh before pre-soaking uh so this one i will also put in the machine and here i will choose the softest setting which is here lavado rápido which means a fast wash it's an express wash it only lasts 15 minutes i put it on cold but it's acrylic it's fine and we are good to go i it doesn't need such high ring so i'll just set it at 400 and let's go so once the cycle is over i just let them air dry and them here for a couple of days and and we're good to go so I hope you enjoyed this video as you now have all the tools to keep your YU bag looking brand new. And of course, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye!